when was the last time you were out for a meal with somebody or you had a difficult interaction and you either surprised yourself or you let yourself down or somebody else reacted in a certain way that showed their true colors, whether they rose above the suggested automatic reaction, you know, the status quo, if you will, or whether they handled it really poorly. We tend to get a lot of information from these situations, not only about ourselves, how we react to stress and misfortune, but also about how we react to other people's stress and misfortune. And today's reading from The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday, we are looking at June 27th, Adverse, Adversity Reveals. My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Starts With Me channel. I'm a therapist. I'm a meditation teacher. I'm in long-term recovery from addiction. And this channel is all about taking responsibility, learning to be the best that we can be and to help others be uh, or do the same. Increase our capacity for resilience and well-being, however you want to say it. So please uh, support the channel through Patreon. The link's in the description. Like this, comment, share it, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, let's get to the reading. June 27th, Adversity Reveals. How does it help my husband to make misfortune heavier by complaining about it? This is more fit for a king to seize your adversary adversities head on. The more precarious his situation, the more imminent his fall from power, the more firmly he should be resolved to stand and fight. It isn't manly to retreat from fortune. Seneca, Oedipus, 80. The reading goes on here. As the CEO of Charles Schwab, Walt Bettinger, hires hundreds of people each year and interviews hundred more. Over his lifetime, we can safely assume he's had his share of hits, misses, and surprises when it comes to bringing people on board. But consider one technique he's used as he's gotten older. He takes a candidate to breakfast and asks the restaurant's manager to purposely mess up the candidate's breakfast order. He's testing to see how they react. Do they get upset? Do they act rudely? Do they let this little event spoil the meeting? Do they handle the inconvenience with grace and kindness? How you handle even minor adversity might seem like nothing, but in fact, it reveals everything. Okay, I love that story in the end. I, the, the quote, eh, I'm not so sure, but this story about the CEO of Charles Schwab is wonderful. What a great idea. Maybe you could if you're interviewing people, if you're in a position of authority like that, uh, why don't you try that out? See how people react. Perhaps you could even find a way of tricking yourself. Or perhaps the next time you are getting coffee at a, at a Starbucks or wherever it is you get coffee and your order gets messed up, messed up, how do you react? Do you handle it with grace and kindness? Do you freak out? What's going on there? How do you handle your interactions with your friends or your colleagues or your random strangers on the street. I think these little micro moments can definitely teach us a lot about ourselves. And sometimes, okay, we're not perfect. I think a lot of people often uh, perceive, if you will, the stoic teachings and this wisdom that we're supposed to sort of be, you know, grounded and Zen all the time. That's not the case. We're just trying to be who we actually are and to be honest and in relationship with those things. And sometimes we're not going to handle it so well. Okay. I'm going to give you maybe two examples. One time I remember I was playing hockey outdoors with my son and we were on a permit, which means the ice is rented by myself and my buddies. We were out early. The rink uh, manager didn't recognize us. So he starts chirping and barking at us and getting really angry and kind of almost aggressive, if you will. Now I didn't handle that very well. I thought I was sort of being, you know, treated poorly. Okay. Now, yes, that's a bit of a different scenario than having my breakfast made incorrectly, but still. So I didn't handle it very well. I kind of told him to kind of screw himself. And yes, we have our part of the permit to leave us alone and like get lost. Then actually to my son's credit, he came up to me and he said, Hey, you know, you didn't have to get so mean. And I paused and I thought, fuck. Yes, he's right. I don't need to be like this. <laughs> so I promptly went to the rink manager and apologized. 
Of course, he was still being a jerk about it. He didn't really take the apology with grace, but that's not the point, right? I took responsibility for my actions. I went and apologized. So sometimes we're not always going to handle these moments with enlightenment and with uh, the grace or the kindness that we'd like to. And that's okay. It's really what we do about it afterwards that matters. Now, there's other times often, you know, due to my own negativity bias, I don't remember all the positive moments. Although certainly I can trust that I've handled many situations with grace and with ease. And, and the breakfast one is a big one for me because I'm so picky with my orders. I want my bacon crispy. I don't want any sauces. I don't want, you know, I like it plain. And because of that, my breakfast gets made incorrectly all the time. So I do my best to be kind, uh, to be assertive in a kind way again, and speak up for myself. I think that's another component to uh, some skillfulness that we can use. And can we do that with grace and kindness as well? So perhaps you want to uh, set, not set up in a bad way, but create an, an environment where you can learn something about somebody else uh, in this particular way, or you can gain some insight about how you react to somebody in service or in traffic or at work, whatever. And maybe you can bring some attention to how you are doing it and how you may want to do it better. And uh, I wish you all the best in that endeavor. So adversity reveals June 27th. I hope you found this helpful. Please comment, subscribe, share, like all that kind of good stuff. I wish you all the best. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.